And good evening, everybody. Welcome to the PBE Minor League Season 21 Draft. Hope everybody's having a good evening tonight. It is Saturday, weekend time. Uh, got a lot to cover here. Several rounds of Minor League Draft action for everybody. Um, but first, before we get started, uh, I'm your host, Legally Blind Gamer, and I'm joined by several of the uh, Minor League GMs here. And it sounds like my Alexa is going off in the background. Give me just a second here. Alexa, cancel. Sorry about that. But I had the alarm set for it in there. But anyway, um, several minor league GMs that are going to be joining us tonight. In fact, let me go ahead and pull up the list right now so I can take a look. See you all's here. Uh, first of all, we have the GM for the State College Swiss Steeds, uh, Beebs, also known as Beaver. We also have Diesel J, GM for the Kingston Mounties, and then finally DG, GM for the Amarillo Armadillos. How's everybody doing tonight? What's up? Hey, hey. Howdy. Howdy. Excited. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, this is the first draft that we've ever had that's been both delayed by a season and also an expansion draft where we had several call-ups for our teams as well. So very crucial draft for a lot of the teams here tonight. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but before we get started, I uh, just wanted to remind everybody, uh, tonight is Saturday. If you haven't done your PTs yet, make sure you get those in. Those will be due noon tomorrow, Eastern Time. Uh, always good for the rookies to get in their first week of updates before they get started in spring training. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get started tonight with our very first pick in the draft. And it is going to be the Kingston Mounties who are going to get this first round pick. And we're going to get a drum roll here. And uh, if Tisa wants to announce this one, the first pick in overall in the Season 21 Minor League PBE draft is... Uh, hold on, give me a second to get prepared. Okay. 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 Uh, hold on. Okay. Uh, so the first overall pick, the Kingston Mounties select Thomas Mazarowski, starting pitcher. Uh, username is Hall Monitor underscore twenty. Um, most people know them as Hall. Uh, they are a they were a GM over in the uh, ISFL. I think they they recently stepped down after uh, some stuff happened over there. But um, they're a really awesome dude. They were my GM for a little while over there, and. Uh, um, I know they're friends with Frick, so this is just a perfect pick to go uh, first overall. Is a really awesome dude. All right. Well, sounds good. And usually it seems like in the minors, uh, starting pitcher is always, always the first pick every single season. But uh, no, nothing different here in this sure. one. Yeah, pretty much. Although this draft was a little strange, uh, since it seems like a lot of teams are pretty good on starting pitching, and all of us are hurting for batters. So, yep. <laughs> like, I could have seen this draft go any number of different ways, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, it was a lot of teams uh, uh, needing batting this uh, time around. And um, the fact we only had uh, six rounds worth of people as well uh, made it pretty frantic there, the first couple rounds worth. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and move on now to the second overall pick. And this one is for the uh, Anchorage Wheelers. And the pick for this one is going to be... Pat Rogers, starting pitcher. And let me see if I have any info here on Pat real quick. Uh, screen up here. Huh. Thought I had Rogers on here. Yeah, so, like, this is a pretty solid pick. Uh, this guy, he's in uh, PB Online with a lot of us. Uh -huh. uh, pretty active there. Uh, he had a previous player, Alexander Blitz, as well, who... Like, I don't think he was, like, the best player at the majors level, but he was, like, a solid earner, uh, one of the top picks in the expansion draft. So, like, I really like this pick for the Wheelers. And it looks like this one was Kalit Mania yeah. uh, Recreate. Go ahead, Diesel. Yeah, uh, I remember, I think I played with them in uh, Survivor, I want to say. I think they were in Survivor one of the seasons. Um, yeah, they've been just, like, around here and there, and they're a really, really cool person. Uh I think they've actually like held a job like the entire time they've been here. It's just yeah, kind of off and on with the activity. He, he was updating while he didn't have a player, I believe. Yeah, legend. Nice. 
All right, well, this uh, third pick here, this one is going to be the Swift Steeds pick, and I'll let Beebs grab this one. Yeah, let me tell you, we were thrilled with this pick. Uh, so with the third selection, we took Benito Alomar, who is uh, the user Crazy Katie Cat. And this was our number one prospect on our board going to the draft. We discussed trading up just to secure this pick. And so having Benito fall to three, like, that was perfect for us. Uh, Slim was helping us uh, do some scouting and stuff. He said that she, uh, she's going to be a, the first overall pick in the majors draft and uh, is the top prospect he scouted since Jabs, who uh, was, I believe, the first overall pick or one of the top picks back uh, in the early days of Florida mm -hmm. and is now my co-GM. Nice. That's right. It was just this season they uh, signed on with you. That's right. Oh, yeah, so we were we were stoked for this pick. I the crazy kitty lady is definitely like one of those one of those people you stop and you go like, wow, they they they're definitely going to be up there for sure. Um, you love to see it when people just kind of burst on the scene like so active and so so like ready to go. Yeah, and like one of the big things for us was that like all the writing, you know, uh, this just. I feel like that's such a good sign when like you join the league and you're active in writing stuff and like you're already getting that media money going. Yeah, exactly. Right. You end up with 10 million before you even start even needing to buy equipment and stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we're going to move on now to pick number four. And this one is for the Chicago Kingpins and their first overall pick in the, or the first round pick fourth overall is going to be Leo Roberts starting pitcher. And let's see if we have any info on Leo. Uh, Leo, is, username is in Emin Moosey. Um, they ended up with uh, 26 bank TPE by the time that the draft started on Thursday with uh, two spent. So uh, seven of their eight rookie tasks done, and they look to be pretty active. Uh, I do have them as one of the uh, most active ones here on the list to pick from. So... Uh, congratulations to Leo and the Kingpins on grabbing that fourth overall pick and getting a starting pitcher for them as well. Um, and that moves us on now to pick number five. And this one was a trade with the Dallas Dynamos, which the Swiss Deeds uh, were able to get the third overall pick earlier with Benito. And now comes their regular pick number five. And your pick number five was? We picked Bergamot Lemon who is Philip Pryor, the GM of the Providence Crabs. Uh, it was kind of a tough selection here. Like, there, you'll see, like, in the coming picks that, like, there were a lot of good choices here. Mm -hmm. But Pryor is a Swifties legend. His first player is one of six Swifties alums to hit 30 war in the majors. Uh, he's basically guaranteed active. Uh, he's flexible positionally. His top two positions are shortstop and center field, so we can play him, you know, wherever we need and, like, that's just so huge in the minors because you never know what your roster is going to look like year to year. So that's how we uh, we broke the tie or the uh, tough decision in favor of Pryor. Yeah. Total total reach of a pick, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> what a scrub. <laughs> One of only very few batters that were actually left-handed batters in the draft. Uh, almost all the, like, 85 90% of the batters in this draft were right-handed. So um, interesting mm -hmm. to see yeah. that they were... Uh, uh, one of the few left-handers, but uh, that moves us on now to the number six pick, and this one is going to be for the Kansas City Hepcats, and the Hepcats are going to pick at number six, Linus Riverboat. Is that right? No, no, I just messed that one up. Nope. Nope. Sorry, Dogwood. sorry. Dogwood Maple. So let me go through here and read what uh, what was said here about Dogwood. Enoch says, we targeted starting pitching in the first round as there were, really weren't many starting pitchers in the draft. I didn't think we were going to be able to get him. Uh, he was number three in our draft board and was really surprised when we were able to get them at sixth. I really like their media pieces so far. If you haven't looked, please do. It's quite funny. It looks like they will mm -hmm. be a great contributor to this league, and we are very excited to have them on the team. So that was uh, some words there from Enoch, the GM for the Kansas City Hepcats. Any thoughts on this pick? Yeah, one hundred percent accurate in what he mm -hmm. said. Yeah, um, this was this was. I was going between uh, Dogwood and 
Hall when when we were going for our first overall pick, and uh, I would have really liked to like him, but um, again, Hall, it's like it's really hard to pass up on him. So Dogwood would have definitely been up there. And honestly, I, you know, you talk about um, uh, Kate, Katie, Lady, or how do you say it? Um, <laughs> being like being like a first overall type of person, like. Um, I would definitely say the same about Dogwood. Like he's he's he came into the ISFL like super active, and he's coming to the PBE super active, and you know already going hard on the media, like looking through league history. Like that's stuff that makes me so happy to see like people that are interested in that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, definitely, definitely like one of the better talents I've seen in recent times. Yeah, if we need a starting pitcher, we probably would have gone with Dogwood Maple at one of our picks because. You know, all the things I said about uh, Katie Cat, say, exactly like you were saying, you know, same thing applies to him. His media piece was hilarious. Uh, I especially like the part where he called Keegan the king of the L's, which is <laughs> extremely true. And for a new user to, like, recognize that so fast, like, that's just such a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right, well, that moves us on to pick number seven now. And since we just accidentally showed that one earlier, we're going to go ahead and paste it now. And this one is for the San Bernardino 66ers, and they choose Linus Riverboat, shortstop. And looking at Linus's info here, username is awesome1849. Uh, they're shortstop, second base, third base. Uh, the streak build, they had 107 TPE spent at the start of the draft with 12 banked. 20 posts and they have done all eight of their rookie tasks so great pick here for the 66ers getting an active um, infielder uh, in the first round and I know a lot of the teams since they have been hurting with batters um, being able to have a versatile infielder that can play three different infield positions all at the same time uh, great pick for Max uh, so I look forward to seeing how Linus does for them any thoughts on Linus? He's a I, we, we, we saw him and Shu really brought him up, and he's like, he seemed like, like you said, he did a lot of the activities already. He's done a lot of media. He seemed really active. He was in Discord a bunch. So he said, we wanted to get um, Dogwood Maple too, like a bunch of other people. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. But once he fell, we we're like, oh, well, we'll, go, we'll get awesome. He's still an awesome player. Get it? I don't get <laughs> yeah. it. Can you uh, explain that? <laughs> <laughs> but so. I feel like it was a really good pick, though. All right. Well, speaking of picks, uh, this next one here is the last pick in the first round, and this one goes to the Amarillo Armadillos, and I'll let DG grab this one. With the uh, eighth pick, the World Series champion Dillos select Mm. Cedric Winters, outfielder. User is uh, 39 Alaska 39. You had to throw that in there, didn't you? (laughs) Yes, absolutely. (laughs) Rub that salt in there. But uh, we're glad to pick him up. He's a, I know he's in the SCFSL. He's helped turn the aliens around as a GM there. Um, I know he's also in the SHL, I believe. Um, yeah, so, he's super active in the SHL. Yeah, uh, really looking forward to having him around. Let me yeah. add him. He wants to. Alaska's a super cool dude. I've seen him around a bunch. All right, well, um, that moves us on now to the second round. And in this one, the Mounties have two picks coming up, the ninth and the 11th. So we'll go ahead and let Diesel J take away pick number nine, second round. Uh, actually, we'll give, we'll give this one to Max because he asked so nicely. Uh, he, he wanted to do this one, so I'll let Max do it. Okay. So with the ninth overall pick, they Mounties pick Peter Dawson Jr. What a scrub of a pick. What a, what a, what this a is fun. really questionable. Yeah, very, <laughs> very, very far reach of a pick here. Um, if it if it isn't obvious why we're clowning so much, uh, th- this is my this is my recreate. Uh, by rule, you have to be drafted in the second round if you're a if you're a GM. So uh, here I am. I, I wanted to get out of being, being the ninth overall pick since it's the first pick in the second round, but uh, it is what it is. We were at least able to trade for 11th overall to kind of make up for it. But yeah, the um, complete scrub Peter Dawson Jr. here. I'm going uh, well. to go inactive within the first week. <laughs> yeah, yeah he, he, I doubt he stays around. Right. Yeah, I doubt it. All right, well, that brings us now to pick number 10, and this one is for the Anchorage Wheelers again. And the Wheelers pick with the 10th overall pick in the draft. 
Eric Bolanos, a uh, relief pitcher. And let's see if we have any information here on uh, Eric. Eric is the recreate of Shockswan. Um, Shockswan, not sure who their previous player was, but they did have 230 posts overall on the forum. So I'm guessing their previous player was pretty active. Um, they made a flamethrower relief pitcher and they have not done any tasks or anything as of the start of the draft. That doesn't mean that now on Saturday that they might have grabbed something since then. Um, but uh, a nice relief pitcher pick, and I believe that is the first, yes, the first relief pitcher so far of the draft. Um, so congratulations to the Wheelers and Bolanos. Uh, oh, that's, Eric Bolanos. That's, that's Mitch. Yeah, this is Mitch. Mitch Mack. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, legendary... Um... Legendary, uh, was he a season nine pick? I think back in season nine, somewhere around there, yeah. Yeah, but he he's he's been around kind of just like a like a, like a journeyman pitcher. He kind of went inactive and here and there and uh. Yeah, he was like half active, there. pitched for OBX for a long time. Yeah, but they're they're a cool dude. And I'm, I'm glad to see him back, and hopefully they stick around. Yeah, he's super All active in PB online. He needs to trade me woo. In <laughs> PB online. That's all I know. Yeah. All right. Well, that brings us to our second pick this round for the Kingston Mounties and Kingston picks. Oh, uh, let me go ahead. Say it wow, you call your own pick. Okay, <laughs> give me a break. It's hard to remember names. And it, uh, okay, so let me preface this with explaining what happens. Um, so we we drafted Jimbo Slice, uh, third baseman, uh, username All Bets on James, and um. So let me explain what happens here. Uh, we have a tradition with the Mounties uh, lately where uh, I have a really bad sleep schedule, right? So I usually sleep from like 7 in the morning until like 3 in the afternoon. Um, so what will happen is uh, I'll go to sleep. And uh, my Koji and Frick, who like I trust him with like everything on the team. Like I trust him with my life. Uh, he's such a, such a good dude. But um, he'll like go and make like two trades and like three picks while I'm asleep. And then uh, th that's what happened here. Um, he was the one who went and picked Jimbo while I was asleep, but uh, Jimbo really cool dude. He's done a bunch of his tasks. He's already got a bunch of posts. Uh, it's funny when, when I was looking at him on the forum just a little while ago, like he was, uh, he was on the forum himself as well. So like, it's, it's good to see people that are like, you know, active and, you know, sorry, I'm like losing my train of thought, but like, seeing people that are that are on the forums a lot and getting all their things done quick at the start of the draft he had already done seven of his eight rookie tasks too so yeah exactly mm -hmm. he looks like a uh cannon build uh third base first base and right field uh for his positions there uh, all right well that'll take us now to pick number 12 for the kingpins and the chicago kingpins pick the second round 12th overall pick Vinny Picone. Vinny Picone, third baseman. Vinny. Let's take a look here at Vinny's info. Uh, Vinny's username is Vinny Picone, uh, V Picone, excuse me. Uh, third base, first base, shortstop. Uh, they have a cannon build for their batting, and um, they had six of their rookie tasks done as of the start of the draft. So another pretty active uh, pick here. Uh, even in the second round, we still have several active picks going on. Um, any thoughts or info on Vinny? Do you guys get the, uh, the message from him? He the message? He sent a bunch of... He sent oh, a yeah. Bunch I think I heard about yeah. this. Did you get one, Diesel? No, I didn't get one from him, but I, I know I heard other people did. What happened? No, he just sent a bunch of PMs to a bunch of different, um... Oh, you're, you're cutting out. Uh, oh, so, yeah. So he's like explaining what he's doing with his player and like what he wants to achieve and everything. He's just like putting a name for himself, which is pretty cool. You don't see that. You don't see that very often. Yeah, he really took like the initiative, which, like Max was saying, like not a whole lot of young players really do that and like reach out to the GMs themselves and put themselves out there and such. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really cool to see. He said, you don't get that often. Pretty cool. 
All right, well, that brings us now to uh, the 13th pick, and this one is going to be another recreate, and I'll let uh, Beebs grab this one. Yeah, Vinny Pacone going 12th really hurt because of how bad our 13th pick was. Uh, yeah. We had to take Esteban Rodriguez Jr. here, which... Another bust. Yeah, just like yeah, a bum bumps. player and even worse user. Yeah, uh, I heard he comes from a long line of bum players. Oh, absolutely. His dad was an absolute scrub. Yes. Exactly. Totally totally not the uh, best uh, flamethrower of all time. <laughs> Definitely not. So yeah, this is, uh, this is Slim. He's the one that was helping us out with our scouting. Uh, a lot of you draftees that are watching this uh, stream probably talked to him, actually. So this is player. We grabbed him. He, uh, he founded the team, and so he's coming back home. That's mm-hmm. right. He was GM the very first uh, season for them when the minors started, yep. wasn't he? Yep. He GM'd uh, the Swifties for the first three seasons, and then he got an expansion uh, major league team, the Florida uh, Space Ranger. That's right. That's when he moved up. Yeah. Wasn't that like now, season uh, nine or season that. 10 or something? Mm-hmm. Which is now? Season, season nine. nine. Yep. Yeah. It was season nine. And now they're the, the them Supernovas. And, and now both, yeah, both teams have rebranded. Isn't that interesting? It is. All right, well, that takes us now to pick number 14, and this one is for the Kansas City Hepcats. And the Hepcats, at the 14th overall pick, choose. I thought I copied it here. Let's try that again. Simba Thrallers. Simba Thrallers. And I have a note here from Enoch. Let me read this real quick. Uh, We had a few holes on the team that we weren't able to fill successfully on the waivers last season. We were hoping for a third baseman or shortstop, and Simba fits that. It also helps that he is a uh, streak arch. If you haven't figured it out, I love stolen bases. uh, They have been quite active in the forum since joining. They were recruited by C C Does It, and I think they will be a great fit for the Hepcats. Any thoughts at all on Simba? Uh, not somebody I've talked to, not somebody I, I've seen a lot of, but um, I, I have to believe that if Enoch likes somebody, they're probably good, because Enoch talks to everybody, so um, yeah, I, I believe Enoch's word 100%. Alright, well they are, oh go ahead. If they know, uh, they know C does it, if they know him, um, he's a, they're going to be a really good player. Well, they are a shortstop third base center field build, and that's kind of weird having center field as the third position, but uh, uh, two very needed infield positions there that they should be able to help cover for the Hepcats. And that'll bring us now to pick number 15, and this one is going to the San Bernardino 66ers if Max wants to grab this one. Or maybe sure, I can grab this one. Do you want to do it, Diesel? You can yeah, do Diesel it. do yes, it. Yes, let me do it. All right. So with the with the fifteenth overall pick in the season twenty one minors draft, we have a Kyle Bellinger Jr. Uh, catcher. Username is uh, Max Crazy. Great pick. Uh, Love, it bust. Love yeah. this pick. <laughs> it's a bust in my opinion, but uh, it is what it is. Don't worry about it. You know, I just have like this weird feeling that like this guy's gonna go on to like hold a bunch of league jobs. You know, yeah, just, maybe uh, maybe punches him and you know, like maybe head office. Like I don't want right. to like oversell him here, but you know, <laughs> maybe, maybe good possibility. Yeah. Um. Anybody doesn't know? Uh, of course, that's Max GM the Sixty Sixers. It up? wasn't obvious. Um, one of my one of my best friends in the league. Uh, of course, I got a few best friends in the league in this uh here voice chat, but uh. Mm. Max has been there with me for since day one, and I, I mean literally day one. I, I pop up on the server at 5 in the morning, and here this guy is. Ready to start chatting, and, huh? uh, Yeah, and he, he, he ended up drafting me to the, to the Vandals a long time ago and just been friends ever since. Yeah, Max is a great guy. I will admit that. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Uh-huh. And that brings us now to our number 16 pick, the Dillos, coming back around to the Dillos again. And I'll let DG grab this one. All right. With <clears throat> the 16th pick, the World Series champion Dillos select Max Do Poutine, uh, user the Woozy. Uh, woozy. Um, 
previous player was Detective Wulu. That's Wulu's right, Detective five. Wulu. Was he, was he's been around multiple different leagues, so excited to have him come on board. He was on the Crabs last time, wasn't he, with his other player? That sounds mm-hmm. correct. Yes. Oh, yeah, and, and then OBX as well. That's right, OBX yep. too, yeah. Um, just FYI, Max had to head out. He wanted to let me tell you guys. But, uh, yeah, Wazzy, well, uh, it's cool. They, uh, they had a kind of a rough spot where they weren't, like, a Max earner, really, and they went to free agency, and, uh, basically nobody had had money to like sign them so they were gonna go uh they were they were gonna retire but they ended up uh going to obx instead i believe and uh had so, had a little bit of success there but it's been a rough few years for obx so didn't really go anywhere but i'm glad to see him back i always like seeing people recreate right um, yeah i was actually hoping that he would fall a little bit further so we could grab him in third because wazi is just such a fun person to have in your discord Mm-hmm. And I count uh, 11 recreates in this draft, so that's a pretty sizable number. Almost a quarter of the, the draft were recreates, so uh, yeah, pretty cool. All right, well, that takes us now to round number three, and we move back to the Dillos again. It looks like they made a trade here with the Mounties in the third round, and I'll let DG get this one. All right, with the 17th pick, the World Series champion Dillos, Saleo, Frederick Holland Jr., mm-hmm. He's your, uh, your boy, Danny Kim. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do believe that he previously had a player. Um, you might want yeah. to correct me on that. But uh, yeah, he, he was the season one player, I think, that yeah, came yeah, back yeah. with the email, the mass email. Yeah, so. Huh. Mass, uh, the mass email. <laughs> yeah, he was talking earlier in, in some discords, and we're excited to have him, have him on. Another uh, batter, which is a trend in our draft. Uh, we had two batters um, left in our roster after all of the call-ups. Wow. So, Oof. even in actives too, need some batters. Oof. All right. Well, uh, wow. Okay, that takes us now to pick number eighteen, and this one is for the Anchorage uh, Wheelers. And in this pick, pick number eighteen, they are going to take Dayton Mack, starting pitcher. And Dayton Mack, I believe, was the one that came in right at the very end, right as we were about to start drafting. They were the last one added um, to the list of all the potentials, and I don't really have much info on them because they did join so late. Um, anybody know anything about Dayton Mack? Uh, no, yeah, well, I've seen uh, him. In, oh, go ahead. A SC, SCFSL uh, GM, I believe. Oh, okay. Um, oh, yeah, okay. Dragon's GM. So, um... Yeah, he's been he's been great in the SC, SCFSL. Excited to see him with the PBE. It's cool that uh cool that that crossover is uh seems to be working out pretty well for us. Absolutely, a lot of players from ISFL and SCFSL and SBA and pretty cool. Big fan of Chalky Milk myself. Chalky Milk. <laughs> Chalky Milk. All right, well, that brings us now to the second pick in this round for the Dillos, and we'll let DG grab this one as well. All right, we got, uh, with the 19th pick, the World Series champion Dillos, select Luis Armstrong, uh, user Crispy Ice. Hey, Crispy Ice. Uh So, we're excited to uh, have him on board, another one of our our rookie batters team that will they'll be taking the field in the Amarillo. So uh, I know he's been pretty active in yeah in the Discord and uh excited to have him on board. Yeah, it's a it's a shame. I don't think they were able to be here for the draft because uh if I remember correctly, they live like I don't know, somewhere where they're like twelve hours ahead of us. So like wow. it's like four in the morning or something for them. So Oof. yeah. All right, and another interesting fact about them is they're the only Mr. Utility build in the entire draft. Woo! That is pretty interesting. All right, well, that takes us now to pick number 20, and this one is going to be for the Kingston Mount, or excuse me, the Kingpins, Chicago Kingpins, and the Kingpins (laughs) pick in the 20th pick overall, Nicolo de Cesar, uh, second baseman. Let me see if we have any information on... Niccolo. 
And username is Pythonic. They are a second baseman, first baseman, center fielder, uh, cannon build. And they had nine TPE banked at the start of the draft with five of their rookie tasks done. So even here in the third round, we still have some pretty decently active folks here. Uh, moving forward, uh, any notes on this guy? Uh, no, it's not somebody that I really talked to or seen a lot about, but uh, you know, rookie, uh, rookie tasks are always a good way to kind of indicate like if you're going to be active or not and like how active you're going to be. Uh, usually tends tends to lead towards more active users. Okay, well that brings us now to uh, Biebs again and the twenty first overall pick. And if he wants to grab this one, yep. So uh, at twenty one, we grabbed a Lily Kiak, the left fielder. The username Grant with a heart. I was wondering and how you so pronounce like, that one. <laughs> I'm guessing. So hopefully that's right. Uh, so, like, earlier in the draft, we weren't sure that we would be able to get an active batter at 21. So we were talking about, like, oh, should we, like, try to move up, trade up, whatever. So we were pretty stoked that uh, as we got closer and closer, we were kind of doing the math and, like, all right, we're going to get an active batter. He, this guy is from the VHL. Like, he's already, like, he has nicely formatted updates. He's been doing point tasks and stuff like that. So earning TP and whatnot. So, like, we're pretty pretty happy to grab a player like that in the third round awesome all right well that takes us now to pick number 22 and this one is for the anchorage wheelers and let me pull this one up and this one is the only one that had a nickname in their name and this one is going to be luke Coolhand wright a relief pitcher and let me see if we have any info here over on luke and Luke is Aces High is the username and right-handed junk ball relief pitcher. They had six bank TPE, 11 posts, and seven rookie tasks done at the start of the draft on Thursday. So uh, even here, almost down at the bottom of the third round, we do have another pretty active pick um, moving forward. Um, yeah, I've seen uh, I've seen them talk in the uh, discords a little bit, and uh, mm -hmm. they're recruited by uh, one of my draftees, interestingly enough, all bets on James. Um, yeah, I yeah, believe they're brothers, right? Uh, oh yeah, I think I saw that somewhere uh, in the in the IP thread or something. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they they joined like just four days ago, and they already have eleven posts. They seem to know what they're doing, so uh, I think it's a really solid pick right now. Yeah, we like both of them because like we figured having your brother in the league too, like in the same draft class, like you guys are doing the same things. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, your careers are mirroring each other, so like good chance that they keep each other active and uh, contributing and whatnot so i think this is a, a really nice pick here and that yeah that reminds me of the uh, johnson brothers when i drafted them to the dynamos a few seasons ago now they're uh both uh, gms for the stars so um very nice to see brothers being able to join in and keep each other active and take on league jobs together um so we'll have to see how luke wright does here uh in the pbe and that takes us now to pick number 23 the san bernardino 66ers and 66ers are going to choose LaCroix, relief pitcher. And let's see what we have on LaCroix. Now LaCroix is a username as well. They are a control freak relief pitcher with seven banked and uh, seven rookie tasks done. So uh, still a lot of uh, players here. Um, yeah. Pretty active. This is this is a really like surprisingly deep draft. I, I, I was... You know, I was like looking. I like I didn't think I was gonna get somebody in the fourth, and then I saw there were people still active coming towards the fourth, and I was like, "Wow, it's it's, it's uh pretty pretty deep," and uh, I think it helps out a lot of people who are new. So like, even in even though we didn't like see them yet, they were they were uh you know they were catching up as the draft went on. Um, I I like Lacroix a lot. They they talked a lot on the rookie Discord. Um, it's funny we were talking and uh. They're saying that they're they're a human sized can of Lacroix and uh, um, don't don't get this uh, don't get it twisted. They said they drink human milk, and I know that <laughs> sounds wrong, but um, you think about it, humans drink other animals' milk. Well, a can of Lacroix would drink human milk. Uh, yeah, very okay. very weird way to say it, but yeah. 
All right, well, uh, that takes us now to pick number 24, the last pick in the third round, and we'll let DG get this one for the Dillos. All right, with the 24th pick, the World Series champion Dillos select Noah Johns the third. Um, user Noah Johns the <laughs> second. <laughs> Noah Johns has been yeah. around for a while too, hasn't he? Yeah, um, he let, has. let it be uh, known that this is a uh, actually Noah Johns the third. Like there was a Noah Johns and Noah Johns the second. Now this is the third one. Yes. I don't um, think. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, we we had Noah Johns the second. Uh, we had him. Um, back when he was he was pitching, so now we have his recreate again. Excited to have him back. Yeah, I had uh, Noah Johns the first. I think back like in S twelve or something. Wow. Well, um, that's right. Yeah, Johnny was Johnny two times was saying something about that yesterday that uh, they were on the team with us uh, when we won the World Series that yeah. season. Kind of crazy, right? All right, well, that takes us now to round number four. And the first pick, the 25th overall, goes to the Kingston Mounties, and they choose. Oh, uh, I think it's time to be pick 25. It should be 25. You're right, 25. Um, we went with uh, Cyandin Black, relief pitcher, uh, also known as Cyandin. I'm not sure that's how you say it. But uh, yeah, we were looking here and uh, coming towards this pick, and like I was saying, we're like, wow, you know what? There's a lot of active still uh, still here. So I was kind of looking like, uh, what did I want? Um, kind of wanted to get a position player here, but I was just looking at like the quality of the players left. And I was like, I, I have to get this get this guy. It looked really good. Uh, if I remember correctly, they, they said they were coming from OOTP. And I uh, always love to see OOTP players coming into the league because they, they, they seem to know what they're doing. And uh is somebody that already has the love for the sim baseball world, so it's just you know they they just come in so smoothly and uh, so yeah, I, I messaged them and said like you know how, how are you feeling about the league and they're like I feel good, so I was like yeah, let's go with this pick. Nice. Yeah, and there were a lot of like active relievers. Like this is a really good re reliever class, and we were thinking about taking one at twenty one, but there were so many good ones, including Syndon who. Uh, was one of our favorites that we're like, all right, we'll wait to get reliever until round four, just because there's so many of them, you know. And I think that's kind of why a lot of these relievers might have fallen so far, even though they're active. Mm -hmm. But we were a big fan of that pick. All right, cool, cool, cool. Well, that takes us now to pick 26. And this one is going to go to the Anchorage Wheelers. And the Wheelers pick in the fourth round, John Paquin. John Paquin, center fielder. Let's take a look here at their information. And Paquin's username is jpac 14 Their positions are center field, right field, left field. Um, a freak build. And I don't really have any <coughs> other info. They hadn't done any uh, rookie tasks or anything yet. Um, but we'll have to see how that goes with them. Uh, again, another batter being taken here earlier rather than later. Um, and with the, yeah. the issues with the uh, teams running low on batters, and all the teams here, uh, especially with um, uh, the Wheelers, Wheelers did get two starting pitchers and a relief pitcher. So this is their very first batter uh, in the uh, draft here so far. So um, congratulations to John Paquin getting picked 26 overall for the Wheelers. And that takes us now to my pick. The only pick that the Dynamos had in this draft after trading away some picks for some later seasons. And I picked 27th overall, Ian the Igloo, starting pitcher. Uh, Ian the Igloo, username of uh, Citus. And they have been pretty active before with their other player. Um, they are a mm -hmm. recreate. And looking here at the information, they are a flamethrow starting pitcher. They did have 11 TPE banked at the start of the draft, so they have gotten some of their their tasks done already. Um, but uh, we we were pretty decimated um, in our pitching uh, department, especially in relief pitcher. But we needed starting pitchers much greater than that. I only have one active starting pitcher right now, so um, this gives us a second yep, yep. active starting pitcher, and so we're pretty excited to see how Ian does this season. I was shocked how far he fell. Yeah, I um when in a I was, normal draft this never would have happened. Yeah, when I was um 
I was looking at um, that 25th overall pick. I was really thinking about him because uh, he's really active over in the ISFL, and it's just a it's just a good dude in general. And I had good talks with him and, and DMs about it, and mm-hmm. uh, I just ended up going relief pitcher because uh, starting pitcher was one of the things that uh, you know for whatever reason we ended up having kind of a kind of having a, a good bit of him. He would have been a uh, I mean, he would have been a fourth pitcher, but uh, really, we needed uh, batters and relievers a lot more. So, yeah, um, we were in the same boat considering him, but like, we just needed batters. Yeah, I, I love, I love their, uh, I love the person behind the mask, uh, so to say. Uh, talking to them themselves on Discord, they're just a really nice person, and cool to see him going to a good team. Yeah, this is just insane value. Woo-hoo. All right, well, that takes us now to pick number 28, <clears throat> and this one is for the Chicago Kingpins, and the Kingpins with the 28th overall pick choose Alex Frank, catcher, and looking at Alex's stats here, uh, Horty is a username, and I've seen Horty's name in um, uh, Discord before talking quite a bit, so uh, seems like a pretty active user. Uh, they did have uh, seven TPE banked and five rookie tasks done uh, at the start of the draft, so um pretty solid overall pick here even in the fourth round uh some decent players still around here uh, as we're getting closer uh into the second half of the draft um anybody know anything about horty uh i haven't talked to them a lot uh but interestingly enough their their build is something that I, i'm surprised to see uh haven't seen a lot of cannon catchers but uh they they ended up going cannon for uh for a catcher build and uh it's very interesting to see. I mean, obviously you get a lot of arm, and then um, trying to look at it, the catcher ability doesn't go up too high, but I think AD is more than enough. But having that, uh, having that arm, like if they if they ended up uh, boosting it up to a hundred, I'd like to see what their uh, caught stealing percentage would be. Yeah, it's really interesting uh, that defensive build media that Forty Jordy just posted. I was surprised to see that like arm improves your catcher rating as much as ability does. Because it's always kind of been like the catcher meta was a pr- improve ability, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. I think those cannon builds might start to get more popular now that uh, we've kind of peeked behind the curtain, if you will. Absolutely. All right. Well, that takes us now to pick number 29. And this one goes to the Swiss Deeds. And we'll let Beebs grab this one. Yep. So at 29, we grabbed Cletus Bojangle. Uh, okay. The user is Double Doinks, also known as Dylan Deluxe. Uh, somewhat of a controversial user. We don't really need to get into it, but he was involved in some drama over in the ISFL. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's a it's a high risk, high reward pick here, you know. All right. Well, yeah. oh, go ahead. Big old doink. I was gonna say big old doinks. Yeah, and anytime you get the opportunity to like insult the bears, like you just have to take it. <laughs> Okay, well, that takes us now to pick number 30, and this one is for the Kansas City Hepcats. And the Hepcats, with the 30th overall pick, choose Andrew Stewart, third base. And let me read the note here I have from uh, Enoch on this one. Enoch says, not having a third round pick hurts. I I was glad that Stewart was still around as we needed a third baseman. I had some brief conversations with them, and I really did like their answers on our scouting questions. We have had pretty good success in the fourth round since I have been GM, and I hope it continues. And we will see Stewart develop and follow in the line of the great Hepcats third baseman like Brunson, Brunson, Herrera, and Taters. So congratulations again to Andrew Stewart going to the Kansas City Hepcats, the 30th overall pick. Anything like that about Stewart? Uh, this is not somebody I've talked to, but uh, lots of third basemen's coming up lately. It's right. kind of making me... Kind of making me annoyed. Like I thought I was gonna be the I was gonna be the one that uh, you know, that comes out of nowhere. The the third baseman that actually cares about defense. And I see all these all these people coming out of nowhere that want to be third baseman. And I'm like, well, looks like my position's getting inflated. <laughs> all right. Well, that takes us now to pick number thirty one, and this is the second to last pick in the fourth round. And this one goes to the San Bernardino Sixty Sixers, and the Sixty Sixers with the thirty first overall pick choose. Sean Anthony Zyke. Sean Anthony Zyke. And let's see if we have any info on them. Uh, username is the Last Olympian 07. They are a flamethrower relief pitcher, right handed. 
Uh, they had 107 TPE spent as of the start of the draft. And uh, so we'll have to see how they do coming up this season. But uh, uh, I only have like six or seven relief pitchers this year. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight relief pitchers in the draft. And uh, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. <clears throat> only a few more relief pitchers left. So a good pick mm -hmm. here from the 66ers. And has anybody dealt with this person before? No, I haven't talked to them. No. All right. Well, then that'll take us now to pick number 32. And at the 32nd pick, uh, we'll let DG grab this one again. Uh, DG left. Oh, DG left. All right. Well, yes. 32nd overall pick, the Amarillo Armadillos choose Dan King, second base. Dan King. And let's see if we have some info here on Dan. Dan, the username is Motion. They're a third, uh, second baseman, shortstop, right field, uh, batting and throwing right-handed, uh, freak build. And uh, they haven't made any uh, TPE yet so far. So uh, we are starting to get into the part now where most of the players are 100 TPE when they get drafted. Uh, so we'll just have to see mm -hmm. how Dan does this coming season. But that'll take us now to the fifth round and, and pick number 33, the Kingston Mounties choose... That is going to be John F. Kennedy. Uh, username is uh, Young TB, and John F. Kennedy is a. Uh, give me a second here. John F. Kennedy is a, is a full on outfielder, right field, left field, center field. Um, Young TB is a recreate. Uh, they were originally a Chase Petten, who was a. It's one of like the better prospects for pitching uh, around the time that I was coming in, but they just kind of disappeared and went inactive. Uh, one of the one of the bigger uh, busts in draft history, actually. Um, but I'm really glad that they're back, and uh, I'm really hoping that it works out. They uh, they talked to they talked to Frick, and uh, they sounded like they were interested. And uh, any chance to draft uh, John F. Kennedy? <laughs> uh, that was a terrible, terrible, oh. terrible try. But uh, uh, it's funny. It's funny because uh, there's the meme going around about uh, I forgot what the show's called. It's like Clone High or something like that, or something like it's some old some old cartoon. And there's a character named John F. Kennedy, and he's kind of a airhead, but he's really funny. So huh. uh, it's funny seeing seeing somebody use that in the draft. Uh, and Young TV is pretty pretty cool dude. So glad to have him. Yeah, and at this point in the draft, like, he's active in other sim leagues, so there's a chance that you get, like, maybe some affiliation PTs out of him, you know, the occasional update. Like, that's what's, just what you're hoping for, like, this slate, you know? Right. Yeah, this slate, yeah, you definitely, if they can put in anything into their player, that's better than uh, uh, just grabbing an inactive right off the bat. Um, so that takes us now to pick number 34, and pick number 34 is going to the Anchorage Wheelers. And the Wheelers pick 34th overall. Boo Boo Chungus. Boo Boo Chungus. Uh, actually, this is, a, this is a trade. Oh, this was a trade. Um, this is the Mounties pick, actually. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um. So, uh, Frick went and traded uh, for this pick, I believe, um, with the Wheelers for, uh, I think we gave the Wheeler Wheelers our third rounder. Or who was we have somebody our third round pick, um, if I recall. No, no, no. We, the third round pick was already gone. We gave him something. We gave him something. I I don't remember. I think it was yeah, a season twenty two pick or something. Yeah, I think yeah. it was a fourth next year or something along those lines. Yeah, and that mm -hmm. means you also mm -hmm. have the uh, they also have the uh, round six first pick as well. Is that right? Yeah. So we had a uh, we got a uh, boo boo chungus here, and. Uh, if you look on their if you look on their uh, player page, they don't have a Discord listed, but uh, they do have six posts, so they are at least like active in some respect. I don't know if Frick actually talked to them or not, but he told me he got six actives in this draft, so I'm gonna believe him. Um, they were born in a Taco Bell, so uh, they already have high aspirations, obviously. So that's uh, right, they're the one with the Taco the Bell pick. sig, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we know that they're going to be drafted to San Antonio next uh, major draft. <laughs> I've a hey, Mounties in San Antonio have a good history of players. <laughs> I mean, uh, Sandberg, Bosox, uh, Greer, among others. 
All right, well, that takes us now to our next pick, and that is going to be, let me pull this one up here. That'll be the 35th overall pick, and I guess with DG gone, we'll go ahead and grab this one, and that will be Poppy Pete Bono. Pete Bono, center fielder. Let's see what we have on Pete here. Uh, Pete, username of uh, Darth Karras. Arthur Karras, uh, center field, right field, left field, um, batting and throwing left. They are a streak build, and as of the start of the draft, they only had two posts. So we are definitely getting down near the ones that only have a couple posts before they uh, went into the draft. Um, but uh, being a streak build, hopefully they can get some uh, stolen bases for the Dillos there. Um, and that takes us now to pick number 36. And let me pull up the list here. 36, and this one is going to the Chicago Kingpins. Chicago Kingpins pick, 36 overall. Ronnie Anderson, center field. And I believe this one is a recreate. No, this one is not. Uh, Jake John 17 is the username. Center field, right field, left field uh, build on them. Batting, uh, switch hitting, and they are a right uh, hand thrower, freak, of the freak build, and they only had one post at the start of the draft. Um, so another player going towards the end here with not much activity, but uh, with the teams trying to fill out the batting lineups, uh, they should be getting some time in anyway, most likely. And that takes us now to pick number 37, and we'll let Beebs grab this one. Yep, so we grabbed Fady Salinger here. Uh, you know, like you were saying, we're just picking between actives. Uh, when you're doing that, small things like having a pun name uh, put you to the top of the list. And you can never have too many pitchers in your bullpen, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Even though his namesake wrote, like, the most overrated book in high school lit history. But we're not going to hold that against him. All right, well, their username is Sultan Myatt, uh, Control Freak right-handed thrower and they did have three posts so um they did show a little bit of activity so i hope they uh end up coming back for you and and hopefully being able to uh i'm guessing you're going to put them in the bullpen to start off with and uh see where it goes from there yeah most likely we have three active starters so you know maybe the fourth spot or maybe a bullpen roll all right and that takes us now to pick number 38 and this one is for the kansas city hepcats and the hepcats pick 38th overall Danny Smith Jr., starting pitcher, and I believe this was the last starting pitcher um, of the draft that was available. And Enoch, nope. no, there was one more. There's okay, one more. One all more. right. Yeah. Uh, Danny says here, or excuse me, Enoch says here about Danny. Uh, I have only spoken to Smith once as I was helping them create their player. Unfortunately, they have not been active since then. Uh, it is always nice to have another arm in the bullpen. Maybe we can get them back? Question mark. Uh, you never know. So. Uh, uh, hopefully things turn around here for Danny, and uh, maybe Enoch will probably get some usage out of him for this coming season. That takes us now to pick number 39. And 39 here is going to go to the San Bernardino 66ers. And at the 39th overall pick, the 66ers choose Joey Brady, second baseman. Joey Brady, and let's see if we have anything here on Joey. Yeah, like when we look back on this draft later on, this pick is going to look like an absolute steal because during our draft, he came back to activity. Oh, wow. And uh, looking at this here, he is the only big man on campus build for the entire draft. So just one Mr. Utility and just one big man on campus. So uh, pretty rare setup here for them. Uh, second base, first base, third base. Throwing and batting right-handed. And at the start of the draft, they did not have any um, posts yet, but if they have come back active, that is great news for Max and the 66ers. Yep, he started posting in Discord, in the rookie Discord, uh, while this pick was on the clock. And LGM was sitting there going like, oh, please don't notice, please don't notice, please let us get him next. <laughs> All right, well, that takes us now to the last pick of the fifth round. And speaking of LGM and the Dillos, Dillos with the... 40th overall pick, choose Shane Bocher. Shane Bocher, uh, shortstop. Let's take a look at uh, Bocher's information here. Username is Max Danielson. 
a shortstop, second baseman, catcher build, uh, batting and throwing right-handed, and they are a cannon build. Um, looks like the last time they were on, unless they have become active since the draft, was September 16th. So um, looks like they built during the uh, playoffs week, and they just have not been back since. But, uh, you know, again, with all the teams needing all these batters, they will be used most likely. And so I wish Shane and the Dillos the best of luck in this one. Um, now, let me go ahead and fix, since I did see this here over on the draft board, let me go ahead and fix this thing here. We'll delete that one and copy and paste. And so that brings us to Diesel J with the last two picks. All righty. Give me one second here. Mm -hmm. We had, ah, wait a minute. We had number 41, Emmanuel Brewer, first base, catches third base. Uh, username Emmanuel Brewer. Uh, hasn't been on the forums in a couple weeks, so you know it is what it is. But hey, throw him a message if you're interested. Uh, maybe it sticks, maybe it doesn't. Uh, and then over at 42, we had uh, Merrill and Stephens or Stevens, uh, username Ben Greedy. Uh, actually, a season one player who came back surprisingly, but uh, haven't been on in like nine days. So again, is what it is. Send them a message and see if they stick around. If they don't, then no harm, no foul. All right. Well, that finishes the draft portion for this evening, but we still have one more here, and that is going to be a waivers pick. And the Dallas Dynamos were able to win this one earlier this morning. And the pick for the waivers here is going to be A.J. Krishna, first base. Um, so congratulations to A.J. I'm looking forward to having you in the lineup. Uh, that rounds out nine batters now for the Dynamo. So we were just barely able to squeak Beautiful. in. Uh, we do have one inactive out of that list. Um, but having eight active batters and uh, not having to use a bot to uh, uh, try and cover our last position there, I, I think that's really great. Um, so I'm really looking forward to see how AJ does for us this season. Uh, but before we wrap up, now we are done with the draft. Any last words from either of our GMs here? Um, Go through, please. No, boo, boo, Swifties. No, everybody loves the Swifties. <laughs> um, I'll say uh, Mounties have the uh, the first pick on the waiver, so chances are we'll be adding somebody uh, sooner than later. Uh, so look out for that. Uh, if you created after the draft and you're still uh, yet to come, uh, waivers should be should be up and firing real soon. I mean, uh, they already started, but uh, it usually takes a little while for them to get into the swing of things. So. Uh, be sure to look for that and uh, enjoy your new teams. All right. Well, uh, one last thing I'd like to point out here was mentioned uh, earlier as well is that uh, we did have a lot of players from other leagues come over and sign up this season. Um, the, mm -hmm. This is one of the highest concentration of affiliation uh, cross signups that I've ever seen in a minor league draft. So I'm really happy to see that. It does show in the, the amount of depth that we were able to get active players all the way down to the bottom of the fourth round here. Um, so we're just going to have to see how it goes this season. But uh, we do start with the first games of spring training uh, this coming Thursday. Uh, so I, I want to congratulate everybody again for the who got drafted tonight in the Season 21 minor league draft for the PBE. And uh, I guess we're going to go ahead and sign off here for the evening. But I want to thank everybody again for joining us. I'm your host, Legally Blind Gamer. Uh, joined here tonight by Biebs of the Swift Steeds, uh, Diesel J. The future of champion, S21 <laughs> champion. <Simple laughs> uh, Happy to be on and uh, talk about you know our new crop of, crop of youngins coming up. All right. And then we also have Diesel J for the Mounties, who... Has had a really good run in the World Series the past several seasons, so we hope to see them back again here real soon. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also had on uh, Max tonight from the uh, 66ers, and we also had DJ or DG, excuse me, from the Dillos. So I want to thank all of our DMs from uh, for coming on tonight, and I hope everybody enjoyed your stream. Congrats again to all the rookies for getting signed. As soon as the stream is over, we're going to go ahead and start inviting all the players to our locker rooms. So I hope everybody looks forward to that. And uh, uh, everybody have a good evening. And we will see you next week with spring training. Woo! Bye. Bye.